What's good, internet? It's your boy Drew Starks here, back in the video today. And today I have a pickup from about two weeks ago. It is the Sockney um, Originators Only collaboration. Who I'm not gonna tell you guys just yet, but I got this super late. I didn't see on the website that they were giving the free express shipping, which was two to four days. Um, I just went with their default shipping, which was hella long. And it ended up coming in on Thursday so yesterday for me or if you guys are watching this probably on Saturday came in on Thursday which was bananas almost two weeks later um, that's a little wild to me but it is what it is so I have it here this is it I got my size shout out to Sakini for doing that I think it's actually a really unique idea and concept that they did allowing uh, youtubers and kind of curators and originators to come through to their headquarters over in massachusetts and design their own sneaker for people who have designed sneakers before i've actually helped with the club collaborations it's a difficult and very long process um, i've seen somebody here locally who does a lot of the feature ones dude in my opinion is a genius he does a lot of the work for them and um, he pours his heart and soul into those collaborations and uh, much respect to all the people who did it and who got their designs out there and told a story because that storytelling through that palette is super difficult. But let's get straight into it. Let's cut to this and get straight into the unboxing so I can show you guys and talk about this a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's that hurt. It's that word. Let me show y'all what pain looks like. I sacrificed all my work just to feel some light. Dark tunnels overwhelming, so I close my eyes. Who's really here with the truth? My friends sit with lies, so I lie down. I look up at the sky now, asking God how. And why was I the one to get the short end of the stick? All these games and tricks I've been dealing with. Magician with the feelings, kid. I make my shit vanish. I'm running back in time. Call me Superman the way I fly around the planet. And I can't save everyone. Some lessons I have to learn the hard way. I watch him crash and burn. It's over. As you guys have seen, I picked up the Tony D2 Wild Pair. These, in my opinion, uh, for the first drop were the dopest. These and T Blake's, in my opinion. Um, the two concepts, you know, Tony went back to his childhood where he used to get called Tony the Tiger and made the Tiger inspired grid um, SD. And then T Blake went through and said, I'm going to allow everybody else to kind of curate and create with me. It did the all white pair with the permanent markers. I thought those two concepts were the dopest um, for the first drop, but these are crazy. It has the orange splatter on it, as you guys saw. Um, people didn't know how to name this. It's splatter, guys, it's splatter. But it has orange splatter, or the orange suede with the black splatter on it. Um, the only thing I did not like is that there are so many tones of orange on this. I think if Sakuni could have kept it consistent, uh, I think it would have looked better or either brighten up the orange or darken up these plastic panels to make things a little bit more cohesive and then have things pop with lacing and tags and things like that. But that's just me nitpicking. Overall, the uh, design is super dope in my opinion. Um, it comes with the orange laces. I believe it was Hess Kicks. I think his came with like four extra pair of laces or three extra pairs and then the lace that came with it, which was cool. But overall, it's super dope. You can tell that these were one of 100s or one of like 115 after they did all the uh, friends and family pairs. Um, there's a lot of quality issues on these, which is a bummer, a lot of extra glue, but um, that's what happens with a run of 100. You know, they get pushed out super quickly. It's not a money grab for Sockney. It's literally Sockney trying to do something for the community. So can't complain too much, but just a lot. Glue here, glue here, huge glue stands along the midsole. Uh, but still overall, they, uh, very clean shoe. Um, I don't think I have anything orange shoe-wise um, in my collection besides a pair of like shattered backboards, but that orange is much different. Um, so these are gonna get some wear. Overall, again, super clean. Uh, Tony did a good job on these. Um, he should be proud. All those guys, all 10 of those dudes who did this should be super proud. Um, hopefully that, hopefully Sockney will be able to do this again with another group 
I think that'd be dope and maybe pick up a couple of the guys from last time who did super well, like the fastest sellouts or whatever that is, and bring them back to do a, uh, you know, a second pair. I think that'd be a cool concept, like overall. But that's really it. Uh, I'll probably have an on uh, an on foot review for these to show you guys a couple of different ways I'm actually gonna uh, wear these with different uh, pants. So that was something new for me. But that's it for this video, guys. I appreciate it. Um, again, thank you guys so much for the support. My last video got I think 120 views or something like that, which in the grand scheme of things is means really nothing to y'all but for me it means the world so i appreciate it uh, if you like the content go ahead and hit that like button if you like me and you like the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, it helps me out a lot but until next time guys peace